What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use an important element of any good web design, the separator elements. As you can see here in our financial WordPress team, we have used the separator lines to separate the sections and give a more elegant and fancy design style while the elements transition. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to use it while using the WP Bakery Page Builder WordPress plugin. So we're gonna create a new page into our WordPress website. So navigate to your WordPress dashboard, Pages Add New. We're gonna give some title to this page. We're gonna call it Separator. And you can, use, you can use both editor methods, the front end or the back end. To make it more simple to follow, I'm gonna be using the back end editor. As soon as you load the back end editor, you're gonna click on add element, the plus button at the top right section. And you're gonna find a lot of elements, especially in the case that you are using Visual Modo Teams that gives you some premium add-ons, plugins to give even more elements. So in the search field, type separator. You're gonna find four or three elements. The number four, it's a special image separator that comes with the ultimate WP Bakery add-on plugin. A plugin that adds some add-ons and I'm gonna make an special video only about it in a near future. So subscribe to the channel to learn about it. Now let's back to the separator elements. We're gonna be using the, this tree that came by default with WP Bakery WordPress Page Builder plugin. And before I share the specs and the features of the element, I'm gonna be creating a sample page layout so I can illustrate some real page example of the separator element usage. I'm gonna apply some content, a heading, like a title of the section, and I'm gonna apply it in a two columns layout. I'm gonna leave a link here in the description below for a video tutorial where I do explain how to use columns into your page builder. As you can see, it's really simple and we already have our line separating the element, but we're gonna customize it. First of all, I'm gonna change the color of the line so it can fit on the page content color. Now, you can see you have style, you can change the style of the element and you can change the border widget. I change it to three pixels so we can see the line, so we can better see the line and you can change the element widget, the widget of the line. We set it as 20% of the possible space, of the entire space. We are in two columns layout, so we have 20% of this column. Now, we're going to align the element and we already have a nice view. Now, let's play a bit with the spaces. I'm going to leave a link in the description below and a card over here for another video tutorial where I do explain how to change and play with spaces using WP Bakery Page Builder and WordPress. But as you may find, it's pretty simple and you can change in the design options of every block settings so you can gain or remove spaces. It's looking fine. Now let me just add some sample bottom to the section so we can have a more real site usage look. And here we have a section where you can apply some separator line. Now, 
Now, let me go to the plus button so I can add more elements to the page and I'm gonna type separator again and we're gonna use the zigzag, the zigzag separator that works in the same way that we see in the normal separator, the line separator, but it has a different layout, a different design. As you can see right here, it's a zigzag. Let me align the element. And we are good to go. To finish, I just gonna apply some padding so we can separate the separator, the separator from the test. And we are good to go. Now, let me delete this separator and use the last one, the third one, the separator with text. This one has an option so you can apply a title. So you can combine text and the line. Once the text is gonna be aligned to the center, and of course you can edit it in this tab, as you can see, I'm gonna be using an entire column section. So I'm gonna change the elements. First of all, the layout for one column, and I'm gonna align to the center everything inside our section. The bottom, the text, the heading. So it can fit to the new design. Now let me change the layout a bit for a layout with a offset. So we can remove some space from the left and from the right. And it is, here you can see the visual model word in the middle of the separator. Let me make the separator a little bigger. And it's done. A fancy section using separator, elements, and WP Bakery WordPress plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with much more features and compatibility with this plugin as well, of course. And I see you later. All the best!